Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a cake topper for my daughter's first birthday. So I'm going to go to text and I am going to type in one. And the font that I'm going to be using is, I think, Candle Mustard. Okay, and then I'm going to make this bigger and I am going to ungroup these letters and I'm going to connect them together. With the cake toppers, you want everything to be connected. And then I'm going to add three stars. And then I'm just going to make a design with these three stars. And like I said, you just want it all to be connected for this project. The next thing I'm going to do is select everything and I am going to hit weld. <clears throat> this makes this all one image and you want to wait until your project is completely done before you hit weld because once you weld it, it's hard to undo it. You could go to undo right here and switch it back, but if you hit save and go back into the project, I don't believe that there's a way to go back after it's been weld, welded. So you want to make sure that you love your design and that you are done with it before you hit weld. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this five inches and then I'm going to duplicate this twice. And I am going to be using gold glitter cardstock for my image. So I want one of these to be the front, one of these to be the back, and then I want the other one just to be just plain cardstock that will be in the center that you won't even see. And it just makes it a little kind of, it just makes it sturdy. So this one's going to be on the back. So I'm going to go to flip and flip horizontal. Okay, and then also to better visualize this, I'm going to change this to a gold color. And well, it's actually more orange, but I'll change these to the gold color. And it will bring both of these on one mat. So these will both be the gold glitter cardstock. And then this one I'm using pink, just plain cardstock. So I'm going to switch that to pink. And then the next thing that we're going to click on is make it. and then I'll click continue and it looks like it's going to start off with the cardstock and for some reason when I've been cutting on this cardstock it does not cut clear lines so I am actually using the poster board setting for this so I am going to switch my um, dial to poster board plus and that seems to be cutting it so much better so I am going to be using that and then for this one I'll be using the glitter cardstock option When you are weeding, it helps to use the weeding tool and the spatula tool for this project. I changed my dial to custom. The glitter cardstock favorite on my favorites, so I'm going to select that and then we'll be able to cut this next part right here. And you can see they have a check because that one's done and it's ready to cut the next part. This glitter cardstock can be a little difficult to weed and I ended up cutting off one of the stars which was not that big of a deal because I can just glue it back onto the cardstock.
I am using two-way glue, which works really well. You can also use whatever glue you want for this. If you have Mod Podge and a thin paintbrush, that would also work really well too. Here I am gluing all of the cardstock together. I had it almost all the way done, but my hands were sticky from the glue, so I accidentally took off one of the stars completely. Um, it's just so delicate to work with this, and I think next time I would try poster board or cut a couple pieces of cardstock and try gluing those together um, if I ever make this again. But I thought it looked cute with just the two stars, so I decided not to redo it. I use two skewers that I cut in half and I use my glue gun to attach these which worked really well. Here is the final project. It tied in so perfectly with my daughter's first birthday theme. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you are new here.